Hello students, how are you? Are you reading your textbook? And are you reading your exercise book? And are you following your teachers? Good. If you are doing so, you are just on the track. If not, please follow us because we are going to replace the program which you are not following in the class. So I'm uh, going to teach you grade three uh, English. Here, uh, before we proceed to our today's lesson, it is better if we remind what we learned yesterday. Last day we learned about days of the week. Here, the days have seven weeks. These are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And, and also another point we learned here is the difference between separate words and compound words. Separate words are the words which we read separately. And that words are two, and both of them have different meaning. Here, example, good. If you say here, good night. Good is another word, and night is another word here. Day, time. Here we are reading separately. Day, time, good, night. Let's come to the compound words. Here compound words are two joined words which we read as a word. We can bring these separate words into one compound word. At that time, it has one single meaning. Here example, good night. If we said good night, just we bring two separate words together and they make one complete word. Good night, if he says, day time. So, uh, last day we learned about this. Okay, objective of the lesson. Today we are going to say something about uh, days of the week. So, the objective of the lesson, you will be able to hear, ask, and answer questions about a number of people in your family. Two, you are going to ask and answer questions about time. Three, you are going to write five days of the week with the correct spelling and with the correct capital letters. Here, you will be able to write five days of the week with correct spelling and capital letters. Here at the last, you are going to write your own sentence using about your study plan. This is about our objectives of the today's lesson. So today we are going to start from grammar. In this case, we will talk more about how many. To talk about the quantity of something, we have to use how many. If you are going to ask somebody or uh, about something, you can use how many. Here, how many is used to ask about quantity of something. This is not about quality. The quantity of something means something which we can count by saying one, two, three, four, and so forth. How so? How many is used to express countable nouns here? Yeah. Countable nouns. Countable nouns means something which can be counted by saying one, two, three, four. We can count like that here. Here is a dialogue between a student A and a student B. A student A is going to know something about somebody's brother. Here, how many brothers do you have? He said. Here he used how many? Because he wants to know the number of 
somebody or student B has. Here, student B says, I have two browsers. I have two browsers here. So browsers here is plural. In case of that, we can use how many? We, to talk about plural and the singular, just we are asking about quantity of something. How many sisters do you have? A student B asked it. A student A answered here, I have one sister. And then he asked it, using how many? How many cousins you have? A student B said, I have three cousins. Here example two. Example two. Is this is also the conversation or the dialogue between teacher and a student. Teacher is going to ask students here. Teacher said, how many pens do you have? How many pens do you have? Here a student says, I have two pens. I have two pens. How many friends? Then students ask teacher, how many friends do you have? The teacher said, I have one friend. Here still we are talking about quantity. So we have to use how many in case of this one. Example three. If you want to know about the time, second, or hours, or weeks in a day, in a month, in a year, you can ask using how many or so. Ali and Jeff are talking together. Ali said, how many seconds does a minute have? How many seconds does a minute have? Jeffrey said, a minute has sec 60 seconds. Then Jeffrey asked, how many minutes does an hour have? Ali answered here, an hour has 60 minutes. Here still, we are talking about how many. So you can ask somebody using such kinds of phrases. Teacher and you, I'm going to ask you, so you are going to answer. Ready? Well, how many hours are in a day? The second, how many days are there in a week? The third, how many weeks are there in a month? The fifth, how many months are there in a year? Do it for a minute or for one minute. All right, here, how many hours are there in a day? How many hours are there? If you answer like this, there are 24 hours. There are 24 hours. If you answer like this, you are on the way. If not, you can write this one. How many days are there in a week? There are There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Nice. How many weeks are there in a month? How many weeks are there in a month? There are, we can say, there are four. There are four weeks in a month. If you answer like this, really you are with me. Teacher asked here, how many months are there in a year? How many months are there? Maybe this can be uh, different from one country to another. In uh, Ethiopian calendar, including Pagume or Kame, there are 13. But 
internationally most of the time 12 months are there so it is better if you say there are uh, 12 months there are 12 months in a year if you answer like this thank you if not please try to do and try to write this one in your exercise book another one is about vocabulary to know something to speak something to do something to write something you have to know certain vocabularies now we are going to talk about vocabulary vocabulary is very important for you to talk about something to write about something to speak about something or if you want to know something you have to have certain vocabularies in your mind if there is no more vocabulary we cannot jot down our ideas on paper so please He'll read the days of the week in the World Bank and choose the correct one to fill in the gaps in the sentences. Here are World Banks. From the given World Banks, please select and answer on the space provided for you. To do this activity, you have two minutes. All right, uh, here, today is blank. It is the first day of the week. It is the first day of the week. Tomorrow is blank. The day after that day is Wednesday. The first day of the week is blank space. It is followed by blank. It is the last day of the school week. The last day of the school week. Next, blank and the blank comes. They are weekends. They are weekends. So, to answer this one, we have to know Monday, Friday, Saturday, Tuesday, Sunday, Thursday, in their order. As we learned in previous lesson, here we said Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 
according to that one, we are going to add this one. Here, uh, this answer. If you answer like this, fantastic. If there is certain mistakes, or if there is certain problem, please answer according to this one. Here, today is Monday because it is the first day of the week. Tomorrow is Tuesday. The day next to Monday mean. The day after that day is Wednesday. Which day? Tuesday. The first day of the week is Thursday. Just we are putting in their, in their order here. It is followed by Friday. This means it is the last day of the school week. Next comes Saturday and Sunday. They are weekends. Excellent. Now we are going to talk about writing part. Writing. You are going to write something. Please be ready and open your exercise book and have your pen to write. Ready? Nice. Here, write the day of the week in your exercise book with correct spelling and uh, capital letters. I think you are ready to write. So, please do it for a minute. Nice. We have to start from capital letters to write seven days of the week. Monday. If you said Monday, M O N D A Y. Monday. So to write the next one, we have to start from capital T. So we are going to write what? Tuesday here. Tuesday. We start from capital letters T. If you are writing such kinds of words or seven days of the week, please don't forget starting from capital letters. And bear in mind, these kinds of these kinds of capital letters is very important in your writing system. If you start with a small letter, maybe you are not in the right way. If you start from capital letter, you are right. The third day of the week is what? Wednesday. W here. Wednesday. So we have to start from capital letter. Wednesday. What about the fourth? The fourth one is Thursday. So if you have to start from T, capital T, Thursday. What about the fifth one? That should be, start from letter F. So it is what? 
Friday. F R I D A Y Friday. The next one is Saturday. S S A T U R D A Y. Nice. The last one is and Sunday. Sunday. S A S U N D A Y. Sunday. Nice. The next activity will be about Aragas study plan. About Aragas study plan. Look at Aragas study plan. I will show you next to this lesson. Write your own sentence using Aragas study plan. Here is Aragas study plan. Do you know study plan? Do you have your own study plan? You have to have it. You have to share Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday according to your schedule. Araga has his own study plan. Here example, on Monday, he designs or he plan to study what? English. Tuesday, his plan is to study maths. Wednesday, his plan is to study what? Environmental science. Thursday, he is going to study mother tongue. It can be a fan or it can be a mark, or any language. Friday, art and music. Saturday, he is going to read what? English for the next day. Sunday, mathematics. Here. So according to this one, you are going to write or you are going to create your own study plan. Before we go to there, please, let's see this example. Now, we are going to make sentence or we are going to write sentence. Here, he studies, he, who is he? Araga, Araga. Araga studies English on Monday and Saturday. On Monday and Saturday. Clear? He studies, he studies environmental science on Wednesday. According to this example, let me give you the chance to write, let me give you the chance to write three or more sentences about Araga study plan. You have two minutes to write three to five sentences. Do it.
For example, if you want to make sentence from this one, first of all, you can write araga if you want, or he araga is tedis because he is one person. Araga is tedis. What? Art and the music. Art and music. When? On Friday. On Friday. On Friday here. Let's make another sentence or let's write another sentence. Could you write about Saturday? Good. Now we can say he. He is studies. He is studies English. He is studies English. On, he studies English on Monday and on Monday and Saturday. Here. Yeah, you can write something like this. The next one. Now create your own. Create your own study plan. Because you have to be active. You have to be brilliant as a ragga. Do you have your own study plan? If you have, good. If you don't have, create like this. Here, fill out the table with your own study plan. Then write five or six sentences describing it. For example, on Monday, what are you going to read? Are you going to read Matis? English? Okay. Let's say you are going to read Matis. Here. You can write like this. What about on Tuesday? On Tuesday, maybe you are going to read English. This is example, by the way. You can write your own. What about Wednesday? Wednesday, you can read, maybe you can read Afan or Rumu. According to this one, try to fill the give uh, the left one, please. I think this is clear. Bravo. Okay. The next one is the above. Based on your own study plan, write five sentences about your study plan. You can write on this space. We will check next day. For example, you can write like this. You have to start from I, because you are talking about yourself, not about other. Since you are about yourself, you have to start from I. I is study matters on Friday and Sunday. This is as example. You can do like this. Do it for two minutes, okay?
<laughs> nice, yeah? The last one is summary. Now we are going to summarize what we learned today. Here, generally, today we learn it about one, the way of asking a number of something, which is countable, which is countable, one, two, three, four, five. By using how many? You, we can count person. We can count uh, tomato. We can count money. We can count different objects. This television also can be count. Yeah. So example, a number of people in a family can be counted. So we can use how many? Hours in a day. We can count hours in a day. Days in a week. We can count days in a week. There are seven days. We can count. Weeks in a month. Week, weeks in a month. There are four. So we can count it. Here. Another one. Number words and uh, numbers. We can talk about number and the number word. See, it's like 60, 6, 0 is 60 in, in number, this one in word. 61. You can write here 61. 62. You can write here 62, as it's given above. The last one is the way of creating your own study plan. So you have to create, you have to write sentence. That's all about today's lesson. Thank you for your attention. For the next class, for the next class, we will see about present simple tense. Thank you. Bye bye.